This is Liberty Stock number 51330. It's a three quarter inch by 30 inch stroke, Eldorado, model M7530 XT, serial number EL2054, year built 2004. It's equipped with a Mega F18 high pressure coolant system. It has optional equipment of a headstock counter rotation, uh, it has a hydraulic steady rest, and it has a tailstock. It do. Yeah, I'll All move right. in. Like I said, you want to see the control or you come in under the control, I'll open up the doors. And uh, can you see that one on there? It's coming out? It's yeah, kind of about pretty the glare. Good. Yeah, when we go to run it, I don't know if you'll be able to see much of it. Okay. Give it a try. Want to come around there? Yeah. Flow minder, of course, is on here. And down below, it's got the big Bezier spindle loop system on there. Those are nice. Got my cord on the floor, currently running low voltage. Okay. In the back end, not much to look at here. That's where the trough goes in, which is sitting over here on the uh, high pressure system. The trough is sitting in the basket. You want to pop the doors open? Yeah, let's pop it. Show that. Yeah, sure. Okay. Here we go. Get a quick look in there. Wow. Yeah. That's a beast. Yeah. This one's nice. Yeah. Uh, okay. Up high, we got the books, documentation, schematics. Uh, I think programs in there. Everything's in there. Okay. Air package down low for our for our chuck open clothes and for a steady rest. And I'm gonna open it up. Ooh, the doors are nice. So. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'll jump into uh, manual while you're over there, whatever you're looking at. Okay, and, uh, I'm peeking here. Yeah, stay continue. there for a second, because I'm going to enter manual mode right now. And advanced support, I'm going to hit this guy. There's your clamp. Got it. Or support, I should say. Yes, yeah, steady. And now this is, they call this clamp. And then just to run the spindle by itself, uh, we can pull this back. You kind of look in here on the spindle. It's set for 1800. I'm not going to play with it. I'm leaving it at 1800. And I'm just going to hit spindle test. And then as this comes up, you can back out. Watch your arm because that, that counter rotation chuck's going to take off with Thank this. You. Okay, here we go. I'll start stop one more time. Stopping. That's on a freak drive, so I'm gonna wait for it. And one more time. Yep, same thing happens on an auto, so I close up to shut that down. I can jog forward here on the head. A little bit. Rapid. Uh, jog, feed speed I should say, is what it is. It's moving pretty fast. I've got it flying because for the sake of our our uh, video, otherwise you won't see it move. And reverse, and then I'm just gonna move to zero because I've already zeroed it. So F4, zero enabled, I'm gonna hit this one time and it should go back to zero. There it goes. That's ready to go. And I come in here and set up on auto. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna hit auto, enter. Me, right there. Know. Well, find a fun spot or whatever works. Kind of. Yeah, it's a lot of glare. I think this is, we got it. Yeah, okay, so. So there's auto, enter auto, F1. But if you, I don't know, if you wanted to, but actually, if you want to just, if you can see it, I'll, I'll go into the setup screen just to show what I'm doing here. So there's, uh, it's got two starts and two stops and two feed rates. So the first depth is 2.5 inches at 15 RPM. Then we go to three and a quarter at six RPM. It's a slower speed and another inch and a quarter farther. And you'll see the difference. It'll slow down on the head here. It's just, again, for the sake of the video. So that's our setup screen. Here's our spindle during retract. Leave it on or not and coolant. We're not touching any of that. So now I come down here to auto, right there, hit enter. And we're in auto, it's already selected and we kind of watch the meters here. One is feed thrust, spindle load, all kinds of good stuff. I'm gonna hit the dual cycle. And you'll see everything come on. You'll see the clamps come in. You'll see the steady rust come in and the spindle come up. The whole thing takes about 20 seconds. Okay. We'll do a few of them, here we go. And the spindle. Stay at one end and then we'll do another one. And it's, it's, it's pretty fast. Slow. 
slow you down now for the last inch. And return. Yeah, so if you want to come in one more time, just kind of watch close on the head because it, you kind of really see the feed coming in really. See the close up of that. Just kind of see the movie. It's got a timeout to wait for the cool one to come on and then it, then it takes off. Okay? I'm not moving fast here, but at least you can see it. After two inches, it'll slow down to a slower feed for the last inch and a quarter. Right there, there it is. And it's every cycle, steady rest opens, clamp goes back. You want more? One more, one more, more distance? Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, kind of watch at that end now. Part, right. yep. Here we go now. Get a good close up of those three over there. Come on this side? Yeah. Oh, even better. Yeah. yeah. Doors are nice. This kind of works. <laughs> Got a key key. I'll leave that in there. Here we go. It's a nice machine.